The world-renowned artist Hunter Biden, yes, I'm speaking sarcastically, is getting ready to attend two major art shows displaying his paintings. Uh, the first one is in uh, Los Angeles, and the second one is in New York City. These are being organized by the George Burgess Gallery. And, um, uh, and they've put out a statement saying that this is the debut, <laughs> this is the debut of Hunter Biden. Now, uh, the White House uh, argues that they have created an ethical fence around Hunter Biden uh, in making sure that the people who buy this art, their names are not disclosed to the public. Wait, is that supposed to be some kind of ethical fence? Yeah, here's Andrew Bates, Deputy White House Press Secretary. The president has established the highest ethical standards of any administration and his family's commitment to rigorous processes like this is a prime example. Yeah, it is a prime example. It's a prime example of how the corruption of the Biden family continues with Joe in the White House. I mean, think of the staggering implications of this. I mean, you would have thought that this crime family would have said, listen, guys, you know what? We have looted. We have taken advantage of our public office. We are now centi millionaires. We have multiple homes and we've got, you know, 25 garages over here and 10 parking um, spaces over there. Uh, and we've got private airplanes and we've all got all this money and it's all passed through the different bagmen of the Biden family. You know what? It's time for it to go straight. After all, our man is now the president of the the United States. I mean, think about it. Even the Corleone family talked about going straight. Remember Michael Corleone? He's like, listen, we got to get out of this business because we're crooks. But if we're going to get in the Senate, we're going to get in the White House. We can't continue to be crooks. Well, apparently the Biden family thinks that there's no reason to worry. Nothing to worry about. Now, here's Obama's um, ethics spokesman. And this poor guy is trying to, you know, call them on it. Um, and he makes, he makes some good points. He goes, first of all, uh, would anybody be paying half a million dollars for a piece of art if it wasn't the president's son? Obviously, he goes, and the answer has got to be no. Now, this guy, uh, Walter Schaub, um, has tweeted out that, listen, the standard rate, and the White House talked about, you know, we're going to make sure that Hunter gets paid standard rates. Well, the standard rate for a new artist uh, is generally about $1,000 per painting. And in fact, according to Schaub, even well-established artists in Virginia are selling their art for somewhere in the range of two to $5,000. Hunter Biden's range, by the way, is $75,000 to $500,000. Basically, if he uh, does a scribble, that's 75 k uh, And think about it. Who's going who's gonna to pay this stuff? Are they gonna, do they really think Hunter's a good artist? Or are the only people who buy this art going to be people from China? <laughs> uh, you know, people who want some kind of a deal. Big Pharma started. You start, start noticing that, you know, Big Pharma companies start ex exhibiting Hunter Biden's art. Why? Because it's a, everybody knows it's kind of a way of slipping some cash to, uh, to Joe Biden. So the chutzpah of this, the kind of way that this is in your face, is almost as if the Bidens are saying and the White House is saying, hey, listen, we're going to be openly corrupt. Uh, we know and you know, and we know that you know, but we don't care because what you're going to do about it? And so what we have here is the United States under the Biden administration moving into kind of that brazenly um, corrupt territory that is normally reserved for third world type of governments where essentially it's just a matter of power. If they can get away with it, they're going to do it. Um, and no one can do anything about it. Otherwise, they come and break your legs. Here, they don't have to break your legs. They just basically do it because they know that the media knows, and yet the media doesn't care. The media realizes we've got a crook in the White House, but no worries, it's our crook. He's on our side. He's doing our ideological bidding. And therefore, if he wants to enrich himself through his son on the side, we're just going to kind of look the other way.